Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and I'm finally doing next video in my how-to series. I did a video, and I'll link them all and, and put them all on the playlist and link these in the videos above. But I, you know, I did a video really for visitors on how to get from LAX to major destinations. So I did a video on how to get to, from LAX to Universal Studios Hollywood. And then I did another video on how to get from Disneyland to Universal and vice versa using just public transportation, using the train. Um, because, you know, it's a cheaper option. Well, a lot of people are, are probably curious. So now I'm going to do the final video in the series, how to get from LAX to Disneyland. So I'm very excited to show you some easy and cheap ways to get them from airport to Disneyland for your vacation. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard We're here. And yes, so I'm here to show you some great ways to get from LAX to Union or LAX to Disneyland um, for a relatively cheap price. Of course, there's the typical ways like going, you know, from uh, just Ubering or taking a, renting a car. But if you don't want to do all that, want to save some money uh, for your vacation, then here are some other ways. Um, this is the best, the, you know, the best way. It's the fastest way and cheapest, or the fastest non best way to do it uh, via uh, public transportation or metro. And it's taking the flyway to Union Station and taking Metrolink to uh, Arctic. So the flyway is a bus, a big bus that goes nonstop from Union Station to LAX and LAX to Union Station. They uh, have it's about nine dollars a person and stops at every single term terminal. And here are times and see it runs about every 20 minutes um i know the these the this kind of it's confusing the way that it's it's uh it's laid out here but but it runs about every 20 minutes stops at every terminal or here's about every 30 minutes and then union station lx is about every hour and then 30 minutes but it stops at every terminal terminal and it's pretty good. I mean, you don't have to worry about parking because we coming right right back from your um your your plane, and then this will take you directly from LAX to Union Station using the freeways. So okay, you know, basically take the same amount of time as a car, um, but you just won't be driving. Then you get dropped off at Union Station, and then you'll be driving over going over to MetroLink. Now. This option is, is a little bit difficult. It was a little bit difficult because the Metrolink, Metrolink times are very tough. They are, uh, are it's kind of like, a, it really works as a commuter rail. So, yeah, there's a lot of times in the morning and evening on weekdays and some times on weekends. But starting in October, they're actually revamping the whole system. It's part of the SCORE program. They're investing $10 billion in the SCORE program. Part of it, uh, part of Part of this $10 billion to increase frequency and increase, increase capacity. So they're going to increase train cars that have shorter, shorter train sets, but increase train cars and have more trains running all day. The goal is to have half hour to hourly service on every single line. So there, there's multiple lines here. This whole our, this is our commuter rail system in Southern California. It covers 500 mile, over 500 miles. And yeah, starting in October with the new schedules, each one of these lines, uh, and uh, this line already, the Anna Valley line, has um, hourly service, but now all of these lines will have half hour to hourly service, which will make it even easier when you get from Union Station to catch a train. You don't have to wait there for long, too long to, to catch it to Disneyland and catch it to Anaheim. So what you do, here's LA Union Station, and there again, here's LA, here's LAX. So again, you take the flyaway. Here's these gray lines are the LA Metro uh, system thing, um, subway lines, um, and, you, and you can take that um, uh, actually, yes, yeah, so you can really take it now um, from LAX to Union Station, but it'll take a bit longer because you have to do a couple transfers. So taking flyways cheaper, or not cheaper, but it it's faster. So you get from LAX to Union Station, it's the big hub. You have all five lines, uh, five lines, four lines, sorry. No, five lines crisscross here. Then you're going to, you take this, this line, or you take either Amtrak, whichever word come first, Amtrak, which is that silver line, or the orange county line which is this orange line here and then you take it all the way to anaheim 
And that's just what? One, two, three, four, five stops. That's it. Five stops to get to Disneyland, or to get to Anaheim, which leads you to this, the Anaheim Regional Transportation Center. They call this Arctic for short. This is by the um, Angel Stadium area. Um, and they, Disneyland actually has a shuttle. I'm not sure if it's free shuttle or not, but they do have a shuttle that comes here. I'm also not sure of the frequency. Um, I don't know if it's every hour or every half hour, but they do have a shuttle that comes here and takes you right to the resort. And also there's the Anaheim, uh, the art buses, Anaheim Regional Transportation District buses that stop here and you know, take you down uh, Catella, uh, whatever street that is, Ball, Ball Road, Catella Harbor, all the way to the resort. So it is possible. It is possible, but what's really making it possible here is... The neural holdup was Metrolink because, sure, waiting half hour for the bus and the terminal. Oh, when you're at LAX or the terminal, it could, you know, you're waiting for baggage claims and stuff. So the time kind of goes by fast. It's just, you know, waiting for the next train, which could sometimes be like four hours later, right? Because, again, with the current schedule, you have a lot of trains in the morning and a lot of trains, you know, going the other way in the evening. <laughs> but then they wouldn't have any in between. Play in March for it. For the nine to five worker, but starting in October, these brand new schedules of half hour to hourly service all day long. So you'll be by the time you get to Union Station, settle in, maybe get a snack, use the restroom. Your train could be waiting. will be waiting for you on this Orange County line right here for Metrolink. Um, and the, the Metrolink trains, by the way, have bathrooms as well. Um. Uh, because yeah, <laughs> they're for commuter rail. They also have Wi-Fi. They have brand new seats. They have brand new a lot of refurbished train cars, especially on the the Orange County line and San Bernardino lines, which are the mo two most popular lines. So you get a nice refurbished train car, and it'll be just a short trip, maybe no more than forty minutes to Anaheim, and then you just either Uber or take the shuttle over to the resort or to your hotel. Um, and that's yeah. So that is just a nice cheap way to go to the park in my opinion um it's very nice very uh convenient or i don't say i don't know if it's convenient oh okay. it's not as convenient as of course it's just driving or running a car or ubering but it's cheaper and it could be a very fun experience especially if you have children a nice family little trip on the metro system here in los angeles um it could be you know uh not convenient it could be more fun cheaper and it, it's going to be, again, starting in October, much less of a hassle than it currently is now. Now, I definitely suggest you maybe take a Uber, a shuttle, or if you can time it right, do the, the system. But starting in October with Metrolink's new schedules, it'll be a massive game changer. So I definitely highly suggest it. You can find all the info on Metrolink.com, the Flyaway.com. Uh, that's an LAX officially uh, LAX ran, ran bus. There's the Van Nuys Union Station and more locations. And they come, they're looping around the, the terminals. They stop at every single terminal. They loop around every 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes or so. So that's an easy, convenient thing to do as well. Now, yeah, that is how you get to LAX from Disney to Disneyland via Metro or in public transportation. If you guys like this video, make sure to check out the other videos, how to get to LAX Universal Studio Hollywood and Disneyland to Universal, um, which will be even easier as well, because you know, with the subway, the subway, the portion you have to take the subway to get there, um, that runs pretty quickly, but it's that Metrolink, which takes a while, but with the new train schedules, you'll be, easy, be able to get from Disneyland to Universal um, at a much more feasible rate. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more theme park updates and more tips and tricks like this um, if you like this video. And hey, if you want us to help support the channel, become a YouTube mem member for great channel parks for early access to videos like these. These And to comment, be able to comment on every single live stream we do. And if you want to see some permanent information and inside rumors and info, join our Patreon.com slash club722. As always, have a, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a fantastic night.